Hi, YouTube. You're about to watch a trailer for my recent Business of the Business interview with Caleb Pike of the DSLR Video Shooter YouTube channel. This new series is all about the business side of content creation, where I'll be interviewing photographers, filmmakers, YouTubers, and others involved in the content industry. Enjoy these snippets of my interview with Caleb, and at the end, I'll tell you how you can see the entire interview. Are there any particular resources that you use to, to get advice or to, to understand what might be changing in the algorithm, any particular YouTube channels or blogs that you follow to keep up to date? Yeah, uh, Daryl Eves is kind of my, my boy for that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, he, uh, he is certified and like essentially manages a gazillion channels. Mm. Um, and he's such a nerd with analytics. So he's really good for that kind of stuff if you do want to dive into it. <laughs> You are in the basement of your home and you have done an incredible mm. job of turning it into something really, really cool. As someone who's, you know, done the condo thing downtown Chicago, had a big studio space there. Okay. You know, you're like, oh, we just rent an office space. And then you're like, oh, sound, neighbors, security. Yeah. Just it's it's a huge chunk of cash, depending on where you live, to sure. do that. Um, and the logistics of getting to and from it and all this kind of thing. So, yeah, this setup is saving a lot of money it definitely is an ideal but uh fully but it's you know it's getting the job done moving the show into the talk of financials money because mm. at the end of the day it is a business and we all got to make a living so without disclosing any numbers obviously i don't expect you to uh, tell us how much money you're making but i do want to talk about how you're actually earning an income on this channel and uh and you know how this has evolved to help you make a living the big piece of the pie for us and this is kind of future proofing and kind of dovetails beautifully in with uh youtube is our guides so we sell camera guides uh varying prices but all the way from like the A63, A6500, G7, G85 style smaller cameras up to the GH5, GH5S, soon the A7 III. And then um, I'm hoping to do more and more tutorial based. So we have our corporate video guide that's gonna get flushed out and some new stuff with that soon. Uh, someday I'd love to do a YouTube guide. Bookkeeping and taxes, right? This is one of those, yeah. everybody's gotta do it. We all gotta pay our taxes. It's, uh, I know for me, doing this stuff is just absolutely no fun at all. Do you do this all on your own? Do you outsource? Do you have a bookkeeper? What's your position there? No, and I, it's boring, but it's, man, this will change your life. If you, there's like two tips I have that just completely blew me away in the positive way. So I don't, I used to do everything, own taxes, own bookkeeping. Um, when we started the Academy, academy.dslrvideoshooter.com, um, we switched from using Vimeo on demand to host our courses to our own setup. Anyway, that went from getting just one big lump sum a month to every single transaction. And so when that happened, I was like, all right, it's time to get a bookkeeper. But the way we have it set up is we have a CPA, does all the taxes, all the big business moves, LLC creation switches, all that stuff. And then a bookkeeper who also is remote. She can do her own thing and she's, she saved my life, man. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. So she takes care of all the day to day, all the, you know, she'll check in and make sure everything's hunky dory, uh, categorizing everything, keeping like little things like when someone buys something with a credit card and that in PayPal takes that small sliver of a fee, mm -hmm. those stack up. Oh yeah. And depending on the type of transaction and all this stuff, like those are deductions that you're missing. So a bookkeeper can help you like, deal with all that stuff so everyone should find a bookkeeper and their hourly rate is really low and you know for our, our stuff which is just there's so many little transactions everywhere it's a lot of work and, yeah. and it's usually just a couple hours a month final thought question number one what was your worst mistake in building this business i thought about this a long time there wasn't one like event where i did something terrible or, or messed up but i would say overall it's not saying no enough Okay, so the flip side of that, what is the smartest slash best decision you've ever made for your business? Um, I would say uh, diversifying income. All right, and then last one, any one single piece of advice you would give to anybody who wants to make a start in doing your industry and being a YouTuber and doing essentially what you're doing? I thought about this a lot, and I think there's two that I have to mention. Okay. It's just, they're the two biggest things I wish I had changed when I got started. 
The first... To hear Caleb's two biggest things and to see the full 90-minute interview, including a Q&A with our live audience, head to photojoseph.com and click on the membership button to join. If you're already a member, you'll find this entire interview and soon many more like it at photojoseph.com business. If you'd like to watch the next Business of the Business interview live and for free, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos and scheduled live events. And of course, be sure to also subscribe to Caleb's YouTube channel to see all of his incredible content. See you next time.